Hey what's up Ultra Smash, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're reviewing the Warhammer 40k Assault Terminators. These guys will set you back around £29 on Wayland Games and £32 on the GW web store and in stores. Please make sure to like and subscribe, it really supports the channel. And let's get on with it. Right, let's open up the packaging here. I'm gonna, the most satisfying part of the process you will find. There's cling film gone. Take the tape off or whatever that may be. And um, so, box without it, it's not very shiny. Then you're gonna open it up like this on the side of the box and remove the box itself, uh, remove this bruise, base box there as well. Now here we have the instruction manual. Now this is a very old instruction manual so you may find it kind of hard to build but that's why I'm going to be building it with you. Uh, you're going to need your clippers for this and your Citadel plastic glue. Um, it's a very basic instruction manual, nothing like we see today with models, and again, that side the pamphlet, so pop that there. Then you have your decals, you will need a hobby knife and arder coat for this, that's what I suggest if you're kind of in the kid age and uh, it's kind of cheap so yeah ultramarines transfer sheets a blood angels version of this is available uh but obviously terminators if you're ultramarines you're gonna want to go with these ones so here you have your um your lightning claws now you will notice that the actual parts are very spaced out that's because this is quite an old kit and um, nowadays they are much more closer together. So there's the sergeant's head, if you can see where my finger is. Um, have a kilt, or oh, I'm not sure what those are called. Have a crux terminatus, I think that's the sergeant's one. You have, I believe those are mini shields that you put on your models. Um, we have purity seals that are attachable. We have, um, the things that go on top of the terminator's backpack we have an eagle a skull with um kind of like a crown on it and a skull with a laurel i'm probably going to do either the imperial eagle or the skull with a crown if that's what it's called so that's sprue number one sprue number two let's move the bases out of the view there ah, standard 40 millimeter bases there um, here we have the legs, so, oh, nice, nice poses for legs. We have the big shoulder pads, these, you have to attach these to the small shoulder pads that are, like, on the model, and they all have the crux terminus apart from one, which I'm going to put on my sergeant. Then we have the heads, we have one with, like, a, um, kind of an optic on it and then five helmets and I forget what where you're supposed to put those but yeah and you have your teleport homer this is bigger than I was expecting I I would expect this to actually be a lot smaller but it's nice and big so that's always good back the sprue here then we have like the detailing on the back that's the second sprue the third sprue this is what I'm putting on my Terminators, the Thunder Hammers and the Storm Shields. Now, uh, you have your Thunder Hammers here, so three of them have the lightning, uh, sim like a lightning bolt, and so does this one, so four. And then this one's the kind of sergeant looking one, has a skull and an Imperial Eagle on it. Yeah. Then we have the shields, uh, smaller than I was expecting, but then again they're models, so can't really expect them to be massive. 
the sergeant's shield and then you have your five normal shields my favorite is the sergeant's one and probably that one because it has like the eagle and that's that sprue and then this rather an odd sprue with this excess piece of plastic here but this is the front of your terminators so that and then that one two of them have an eagle no three of them have an eagle sorry one has uh, an, a space for some writing and one has a skull with a laurel and then the backs of your terminators that's the inside that's where we, you would put your model and that those are the backs you have um, kind of like they look a bit like nunchucks but they're told purity seals or something I'm guessing and then the kilt now in the next segment of the video I will show you guys these guys fully built and assembled see you then I'm just cutting out the parts right now uh, here we go so I for my sergeant have if you can see the one with the laurel there so these are going to if I believe should stick back to back like that there's a bit of excess plastic I'm gonna try peel off I might file it down now uh, the instruction manuals definitely aren't your average instruction manuals as I showed you guys earlier they are quite complicated and um, they're the older style of instruction manual sprue there so now if I'm correct we're going to need the terminate we're going to grab the shield and the thunder hammer so uh, always remember the flat side of your clippers is closest to the model so like that never like that because then you're not gonna cut it then we're gonna go snip oh accidentally knocked that over there thunder hammer very nice and we need the sergeant's storm shield this one's exclusively for the sergeant i that's what i think at least so we take that and we snip it all up. I guess I can just grab any arm. They look all identical. So snip away. Oh, flat side the clippers. I think I'm gonna cut it. No, cut it here. Try not to cut any of the details off or any of the joints off. That's more of a deal with Primaris if you cut the joints off, but. Here, everything is flat and you there's no like notches or anything you have to glue to the model uh, like if you cut a piece off so that's what your sprue should look like now the legs I can't believe I'm fussing about which legs I want but I'm gonna go with this one it has the massive crux terminal office I think yeah it's on his leg but I think the crux terminal office is actually on the shoulder pad now uh, I might do a separate video on this but I actually built a base for my terminate sergeant out of just cork so um yeah that's what that kind of looks like he will be standing on the top there there's two legs um, then we take the helmets, as I said, mine, uh, mine are all going to be helmeted. Uh, so we're going to take this one, because it has the massive visor on it. That is very annoying to cut out. I'm going to say very. Uh, should be like that. I'll show you the finished model at the end. This is your again your teleport homer has this big excess piece of plastic uh, that's the sergeanty looking one is there a, a, another sergeanty looking shoulder pad no there isn't let's so take the sergeanty looking one so snip snip
that that should go like this and it kind of sits on top of the shoulder pad uh, on the base arm uh, do I need any other pieces again uh, I s yes I do need one uh, there are a lot of extra details that you can add on but I'm gonna do those last on I'm definitely putting some uh, purity seals on my sergeant so that's that's sprue done then here we have three options for uh, to, to go on the top of my sergeant I'm gonna go with the the eagle very classic Space Marine piece or kind of thing to put on your Space Marine. Surprised they don't have backpacks actually. Um, let's cut out spare and another purity seal for them for him. These pieces are a bit small, so that's them all grouped up nicely there. Um, we have lots of little shields that you can put on. I'm going to put on my sergeant. Let's go with this one. Just a nice basic skull. Twist that off there. That's what your spruce should look like. And we happen to have this bad boy that we can actually stick onto a shoulder pad. So let's actually cut out a plain one, just in case. Yeah. Actually, um, yeah, let's cut out a plain one. So where are these shoulder pads? Not here. So many screws. Extra details you can throw on. Boom. Um, the time of, of the time I'm making this video. Nice. We wait for that to dry, then we stick the storm shield on. Storm shields are awesome. Three up and gone. Where can you go wrong with a three up and gone? I mean, come on. Forty mil bases didn't show them very well to you earlier. The technique I use for my bases is Sterling Mud with the Citadel Base Brush. It's kind of like a plastic tool that you spread everything around the base with. And then Nurgle's Rot 
you have five but since i have a massive cork base i'm actually going to use one of those for the teleport homer That's drying. I really have enjoyed making this video with you guys. That's him. He's going to be all finished and dried. Uh, welcome to the final segment of the video. This is where I show the Terminator Sergeant that we that I built with you guys back in the previous segments of the video. This is him all done and dusted. As you can see, I have stuck him to his beautiful cork base there. He has his, uh, he has the Imperial Eagle above him, uh, he's on his terrain, he's got his Thunder Hammer, he's got everything he needs, he's got some trusty intercessors stood next to him and his emergency teleport homer if he needs to make a quick getaway. Now this guy didn't take me really long to paint but it has really been a pleasure guys making this video with you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on and I will see you in the next video where I maybe paint a Terminator with you guys. Hope you enjoyed.